Okay, hi everybody, I'm Steve Irons. I'm president of DocSolid. And uh, today I think I'll be a focused story on the theme of digitization in these times. Our company, DocSolid, focuses on paper to digital solutions for the legal market, mostly law firms and mostly large law firms, also corporate legal departments. But what we help them is with a paper to digital transformation which uh, it can be pretty arduous in a law firm. And, and that love-hate relationship with paper has had them as an industry lagging behind uh, the rest of m many other industries in becoming a digital organization. So the solutions we have are pretty innovative. Our methods for managing scanning, for managing printing and shredding in a law firm are unique, they're patented. And for the top 10 law firms out there in the US are uh, conducting paper to digital projects with us right now. So our business is digitization. Um, some of it for active records, some of it for inactive records. And then along comes COVID-19, right? So uh, about 90 days ago, we woke up at Doc Solid and realized that our customers, all of a sudden, were going to need a digital mailroom. They sent everybody home and then went to work on a project to establish a uniform work from home uh, capability in the law firm. And they, they had all these primary issues, but then immediately all the secondary issues caught up to them. I mean, what do I do? Because I got daily mail that comes in. It's got documents from the courts. They are docketable. I've got file rooms with matters in them that my attorneys need. So digitization took a quick spin. And as we look at these times, Doc Solid for the legal market thinks about the transformation based upon the pandemic in three different seasons. And the first was the season of uncertainty. Everybody went home and we've got to figure out how to get them to work from home. And that went pretty well. Law firms spent a lot of money on technology. After a while, I think they got to say, we got this. And then they started to focus a little bit more on, for initially it was personal productivity, but then it was organizational productivity. And then all those secondary issues came forth. But they're kind of moving out of that first season of uncertainty and they, they think that they're settled. Uh, but now settling season is here. And in settling season, everybody says, what's it gonna be like? When are we gonna be able to get our people back into the office? Or are we ever going to be able to get all of our people back into the office? So now they're starting to decide to decide on some of the new systems they're going to need for the new normal. And, and none of us really know what the new normal is going to look like, but we know we better be more digital. So Doc Solid, and again, this is an isolated story about digitization in this times, invented a solution called Airmail 2. And uh, we started 90 days ago. We, uh, we built it on top of our paper to digital platform. And we now have installed it our first three customers. Two of them are AMLA law firms. So Airmail 2 is a digital mailroom for a law firm or for a corporate legal department, most of which were just operating by delivering mail paper before the crisis hit. But now everybody's at home. And even when the COVID-19 moves from pandemic to whatever it's gonna be like, it's pretty evident in the legal market that they're gonna to have to be able to support their entire workforce at home or back in the office all the time, both. So the, the need for a paper to digital delivery of that daily inbound mail that comes from the US Postal Service or from FedEx or UPS uh, envelopes or process server deliveries that those happen directly to the law firms. That needs to be made into a digital operation, as well as document requests. So if an attorney working at home or if some other member of the staff working at home needs something out of the file room, those need to be served up digitally now. So obviously this is a scanning, you know, OCRing process, but in a um, strategically implemented instead of a rapidly implemented digital mailroom, 
you're going to start delivering these documents directly into the document management system or whatever the case management software is that the uh, knowledge workers are using. So in the legal market, that's a focus on the major document management software systems. Net documents I manage. This is an essential operation now at every law firm and it happened overnight. And it has new requirements like how do we deploy this because it's got to get out there pretty quickly and law, law firms tend to have many offices spread around the uh, country and in some cases around the world. So how do we deploy this? And we made our Airmail 2 solution a, a hosted uh, system. It's got to be very productive and simple and secure, three separate activities. But, you know, Daily Mail has to get out. Uh, you're going to have a staff that's in a mail room that is not particularly sophisticated. They need to be able to do things um, in, a, in a simple fashion. And the way these scanned images get delivered has to be secured. Each uh, legal operation tends to have multiple offices, some of them much smaller than others, which means you have a different uh, grade of, of uh, staff in them. So you got to think about training and how this is going to be operated from different locations. Doc Solid's preference is to deliver daily mail into the document management system directly, not use the email system, for example, where you don't want to stick attachments in this day and age, and not use network folders where you just end up with um, dark, deep wells of, of black information. So deliver to the platform that um, is the digital platform for the firm. When this happens, you need to be able to do it from existing mail rooms or, 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 or file rooms. So you need to be able to use every Rico, Xerox, Canon, HP device that might be out there. And it's kind of the, the fur hits the fan when you got to get the mail out. So you've got to have quality control processes in place that do a lot of automated checking that things happened well. And although this paper, a lot of it can be shredded eventually, it's going to have to be staged for some interim period. Some legal documents have to be permanently filed, but most can be shredded. You're just going to need to stage the paper in case the original documents are going to need to be dealt with again. So all this was a dilemma. We needed to put it together very quickly. And fortunately for DocSolid, we already had a platform that integrated with the leading document management systems that already had a mail theme. It's called a postmark platform. And we use stamps. These are like the size of US posted stamps, but they happen to have globally unique sequential numbers on them. And it just means that whoever the logged in user is, we know their next stamp number at all times. So they can just think about them like posted stamps. They're going to put a stamp on a document. They're going to scan it in a simple process and it's going to get to where it needs to go in the document management system. So I'll just focus on daily mail because I want to walk through what this looks like. Uh, there's just a few quick steps to run this operation. The daily mail gets opened by existing staff. And in these times, sometimes it's temporary staff or people that haven't even been there before. Uh, this is all set up in batches so that multiple people can work the same job at a time or so that you can be efficient with just one person. So they open the mail and they prep it. Then they're gonna run our software, which I'll show you. And it simply lets them address who's gonna get it. And they put a stamp on it. And then they can just take stacks of these documents now, and then scan them with the push of one button at any of their existing digital copiers and run it through a quality control session afterwards. So if I'm the operator and I've opened the daily mail, I take the first document off the stack and I've got my little roll of stamps there. Again, this is just a roll of pre-printed stamps and I can just think about them that way, even though they're barcodes. The Airmail 2 software, which is a zero footprint web client, will allow that operator to just read the envelope or the document and say, who gets this? We integrate the Airmail 2 software with the firm's active directory. So basically they're just gonna start typing who it is that gets that particular mail document, the software will fill it in for them automatically. And that's really the only thing they need to do. 
the software will show them after they've entered the addressee, the next number in their roll of stamps. So all they do is enter the addressee's name and put the stamp on the document. Stamp, of course, is barcode. And they would go through the mail and do, usually in a law firm, you get about one piece of mail per day per attorney. So if I'm at a 50 attorney office, I'm gonna do this 50 times. And I'm gonna have a, a, a stack of documents now that are barcoded. And I'll put them in a little folding out basket where somebody can come pick it up and take my scanning work away from me. Or I could just walk it over to the local um, copier to scan it. So a very simple piece of software, cloud delivered. Um, the back end of our software is gonna speak through the security system and the API to the document management system where these images are gonna go. But the operators only have to have a login to this piece of software. So we're abstracting the document management system and creating a situation where the operators don't need to log in. Again, a system for our times very quickly. Deploy a browser-based application, make it very simple to operate. Uh, there's other things that we can do on this screen, but I'll skip them now. Suffice to say, you could tell the system a lot more about the documents. But as the lowest common denominator, you're, you're gonna have an expectation that the mailroom staff doesn't know anything about them. So you just give them the simple task of saying who gets this. And when you want to scan, they can walk over to their local digital copier. We put a little uh, programmable button. They all have a programmable panel and we just put a button that says Airmail 2 and they can place their whole stack in there and scan it. They can also use big dedicated scanners in the same way. But we don't care what maker model the machine is. They don't have to log in. They don't have to type. And we can use all digital copiers without adding any hardware or software, the ones that are sitting on the floor. So we're standing up this digital mailroom using the existing infrastructure. And then after the scanning place takes place, we have a server connected to the network uh, whether you've got one office or 50, when there is a stack digitally scanned at one of these machines, our server picks it up, goes through it and finds the stamps, which are barcodes, and it uses them to separate out the individual pieces of mail. It OCRs and makes a searchable PDF. We have an audit system that's tracking every paper document through the process. But lastly, we're going to read that stamp and we know exactly where to write it into the document management system, which is literally a daily mail folder for each of the users on the document management system. So everything's been put away now in an automated process through the uh, digital mailroom. And once it's there, we've updated the search engines and if you retrieve that searchable PDF, we, we remove the stamp that label, we remove that from the image when we store it because attorneys don't want to see it. So that is in these times, uh, the way our company has built a digital mailroom uh, targeting the legal market, which is where we work mostly, law firms and uh, corporate legal departments because they're still very paper intensive. And because before COVID-19 hit, they were delivering the mail in paper. But you need to have a productive, uh, secure, and reliable digital mailroom now. And that is our um, digital, digitization story for these times. The other option, of course, is that once there's some relaxation of the COVID crisis, these people can go back to their um, offices and their staff, and they can sort the physical mail, and they can put it in order then put it in little wire baskets and walk it back up to the fourth floor and take the elevator to the 10th floor and take it to each legal assistant and attorney. And uh, you could go do that if you wanted to increase the herd immunity in this new normal in your firm. But in all likelihood, we're gonna go digital now and stay digital with our mailrooms after these times. We think the, uh, uh, digital mailroom is the new normal. And uh, that's our short story for digitization in these times.
Steve, thank you very much. Uh, very nice story. And uh, look forward to circling back with you uh, on that story.